Last time we saw each other, we were talking about water. Well, it just so happens that the further east you go, the more water you can find. People, they love water. They love their water. They gotta have water. And they use it for all sorts of things. They, they like swimming in it. They like splashing around. And they use it for all types of things. They cook with it. They use it to put out fires. It's a very useful thing. They even use it to make steam eventually in the timeline of history. Speaking of the timeline of history, where in the world did this place come from? What events transpired to bring us the town of Boundbrook? And what is in store for this town? That's why we're here. I'm in Bernard's Township looking for Lord Sterling's mansion. Apparently this thing is uh, being renovated. Lord Sterling was a hero during the revolution and uh, later on went on to become a congressman. Go back to colonial times. The name Sterling on Google. I just don't understand why um, you would have two different spellings of the name Sterling in Google Maps. Since we weren't able to find Lord Sterling's mansion, I think I might just pull over and get a shot of the town. It's near a major metropolitan, and you can see evidence of history all around us. The DNR Canal was opened in 1834. It was designed to connect Philadelphia and New York by water, specifically the markets in Philadelphia and New York. How many pretzels do you think they shipped on those boats? This is where here is because of this very old bridge that was a historic spot. And it was just, it's interesting to me that it was just paved over and sort of forgotten about by history in a way, but not completely. Not to the point that it was completely forgotten. And as you can see, uh, there are lots of people out there that still care about history and are willing to do what it takes to preserve it and unearth it when necessary. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, what comes of this bridge project.
1777, there was a clash between 4,000 British and Hessian troops and uh, approximately 500 Americans protecting the banks of the Raritan River. Crossing the bridge, the Redcoats were met with murderous fire from the Americans to hold the British off, the British and Hessians off long enough to allow the garrison into the Wanchung Mountains. Mountains. British, instead of chasing the Americans, that the one mistake that they did was they um, they stayed and they plundered the village, and um, it showed Washington, showed Washington a lesson in warfare. warfare. He was, uh, he was uh, finding himself finding spread, spread too thin. thin. You're tired, tired, well, I'm well, tired, I'm tired too. too. I think I that think even pretzels, pretzels in history, history could use a, a, little, a little, little fun once, once in a while. Oh boy, what could we do as fun? How about chocolate, about chocolate world? world? What? Say Taco, Say Taco Bell. Bell. How about, How about chocolate, chocolate World? world? world.